Nobody knows, not one single person knows all the digital innovations that have happened. So there is a kind of quality of something that is forever ahead of us. That then also produces a sense of unsettlement, you know, that you're not stable slash stock. <laughs> you know, fluidity is the name of the game, so to say. So depending on what field you are in, that can be a positive or a negative. Huh? So we know that for many people it has been a positive. And we know that for some, you know, organizational formats, it is a challenge. So I would say in finance, it's a necessary instrument this digital capacity and the fact that you have a global operational space. But it also means that the financial electronic markets are less predictable. You know, because the speed, the innovations, what you can throw into those markets, uh, you know, it is a very, very unstable situation in many ways. That can also generate extraordinary levels of growth, clearly. But that in itself, extraordinary levels of growth are in a condition that makes for instability. When we look at what are the critical sort of instrumentalities yeah, through which a lot of power gets made and deployed, the algorithm is a critical one, certainly for finance. Now the algorithm is interesting because it's open, right? Stuff comes in, you mix it up through whatever the brilliant math of some physicists and then something comes out. But in finance, you're throwing those different firms, are throwing their algorithms into an interconnected, electronically interconnected market that because it is electronically interconnected moves at incredible speed. So you cannot predict. And, but at the same time, it's the openness of that algorithm rather than a closed you know, that allows it to negotiate and to discover and unexpected uh, profits are made where you didn't expect them. Now, for us as people, if you think that something like Google, like Amazon, whatever, all of these, you know, services that, that, that we use, uh, they involve us, right? And so we have delegated a lot of decision making indirectly to some very powerful corporations because they are really making, they already know what we want. Well, they keep reproducing what we thought we wanted and then suddenly we say, oh, so this is what I want. You know, so this is a self-fulfilling prophecy element there, which can be a bit disturbing, you know. I, I mean, I don't want to exaggerate that because I'm looking at such horrible <laughs> conditions that I say, okay, a bit of self-fulfilling prophecy for the average whatever shopper, uh, maybe it's okay, it's not such a big deal. But you know, when you stand back, you say, wow, you know, we're being shaped, you're absolutely right. We're being shaped by some of this in ways that we don't even understand. And we keep contributing to that shaping, that's the other part of the story.